How you doing today? This is Zach Allen, and we're going to share a great tip with you today to help give you some more power, right? To help you strike the ball more solid. Um, but before I do, as always, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe or like, and then feel free down below. I have an email list that you can sign up to at any time, and you'll get tips from me on a weekly basis that could really help your game. Okay, so let's get into this, right? One of the most common things that really um, inhibit somebody's power is their lack of shaft angle at impact. Okay, and for those of you that don't know what I mean, golf clubs are designed to be hit with a forward leaning shaft. And consistently, when I give lessons to people, almost without fail, I see hands that are back here, hands that are back here, um, sometimes even, even worse than that, okay? And if you know anything about leverage, right, like like a, a, a wrench is a lever. If I have a longer wrench, I'm gonna get more power. I'm gonna get more, um, more load into that nut, okay? So this is a form three lever in science. If we can get our hands to deliver the club in this position, it's going to provide more force into the ball. So some of the benefits are more compression, right? The ball is squeezed off the turf, right? The ball actually deforms and then pops with more ball speed. We're also going to get um, a better flight through the air. Our eight iron is gonna become more like a seven iron rather than you know these high scoopy shots that we see sometimes. It's gonna increase our smash factor with our irons. Yes, there's smash factor with irons just like there is with driver. Our irons, if we increase that smash factor, we increase ball speed, we get more distance. So shaft lean is really, really big. And like I said, I know it's something that's hard for people to consistently do. Sometimes you can hit small shots and you'll get it, but on a consistent long-term basis, it's hard to do with full swings. Okay, so we're gonna kind of talk about some things that can really help you get more shaft lean, and they actually have to mostly do with the backswing, okay? You notice I have this piece of tape on my shirt, and what I want you to appreciate here before I start is if I showed you where impact is, right? So my, my hips clear, my, my weight moves to my lead side, my shoulders open, and my hands press forward into a great impact position. Okay, set up, impact. You notice how my hands stay right in front of that tape. Okay, now that's really key because most often when I see people in person, the issue really happens in their backswing. They're taking the hands and arms, notice what's happening here, almost as if I'm starting a lawnmower. They're taking the hands, arms, and golf club into a place where there's no way that they're gonna get their hands back out in front into a good impact position. They're back here somewhere. You notice how my right arm, my shoulder starts to retract back and up. Okay, my right elbow goes behind me as I'm going back. And at this point in my backswing, in relation to the tape, look at where my hands and arms are. So I'm either gonna pull down with my hands and arms to try to catch back up, or maybe I'm gonna fire my hips first, but now I get this look where my elbow is really far from my body, and then I'm gonna catch up with my hands at the bottom, but we're not going to get into a good position, okay? Sometimes it has to do with flexibility, but more often than not, it's not flexibility, unless you're just some muscle-bound huge person that you know can't get the club back too well. Most often than not, it just has to do with managing your hands and arms better in the backswing. That's actually the key to getting that impact position. Okay, so you know, you'll see certain people use, uh, this is an impact ball. I have different trainers like this. And what this is doing, is just keeping the distance between my elbows the same, right? If I start to flare my elbows out, the ball falls out. You'll see people using stuff like this. My arms go inside here, right? You can imagine what this looks like. It straps both arms in. These can be helpful, but in reality, you don't actually need them, okay? If you can just be more conscious and aware of what your hands and arms are doing before you start, and then as you go to the top of your backswing, okay? If you notice in a good backswing, my hands are still in front of this tape, okay? So here I am at address, hands in front of the tape. Here I am at the top of my backswing, my hands are still in front of the tape. And notice when I say a good backswing, a good backswing for me, and I'm pretty flexible still, that's a good backswing for me, okay? That's as far as I need to go. I get in trouble too and I start to cheat. I start to cheat my hands and arms. Just from the momentum of the backswing, it just starts carrying me a little too far. And now the same thing that happens to everybody else, I get the club behind me 
and I have to play catch up with my hands and arms. And it ends up becoming a, a kind of slappy, late, weak hit. Okay, so if we can really make sure that we manage those hands and arms well, that's the key to getting that great impact position. So as you're getting set there, right, you'll notice even good players before they walk into a shot, they're very purposeful about how they set their hands and arms because they know this whole unit here, hands, arms, um, shoulders, it's really crucial that they remain intact as they take their backswing. So for most of you, it's gonna mean a much shorter backswing, okay? My right arm is folded to 90 and my lead arm has stayed straight. I would say probably eight out of 10 people that I videotape on a first lesson basis, they're not able to do that. Their lead arm is bending, their right arm is over folding. They're maybe pulling the club inside back here. You can see where that takes my hands in relation to the tape already I'm behind myself. So that's all I would do is just to start and say, hey, let me really respect this whole formation right here. I call it the power package, right? Hands, arms, club, and shoulder. Let me really respect that as I go to set up and move the club in my takeaway, okay? But I'll promise you, if you guys can get to here consistently, this becomes almost a no-brainer because it's a very simple movement. Here, start down with my lower body just a little bit first, and then bang, I get right down into a position where my hands and arms are leading. This just gets very complex when we start to do things like this, okay? And then we start to spin around trying to catch up, we start trying to you know, get our hands, arms, and club moving because we know our arms are actually out of position. So, so the tip really is, is just to be able to shorten, control, and maintain the length of your backswing. And if you videotape yourself, or if you have a friend watching you, you're probably going to feel like you're only taking the club back to right here, okay? Which I think is a great thing to do. If you actually just imagine if I had a tree in my backswing, a tree branch or something blocking me, and I only took it back to here, and then tried to hit it as hard as I could, you would be amazed at how many other muscles you would start to use. It's when we go for that really long swing, that's when we really start to get into trouble, right? Think of a boxer throwing a knockout punch. All they need to do is move this far to throw a punch. They're not going like this. That's not gonna give them any more power, but I definitely see a lot of that in people's backswings, okay? It's a lot of run on. So take it out there to the course, keep it nice and short, that keeps everything stretched and athletic, and then start to hit shots. And probably your first five or 10 won't go farther than normal, but just keep doing it. Keep saying, look, this is gonna be the end of my backswing right here. My hands stay right in front of the center of my chest. Just like a baseball pitcher throwing a pitch, they wind up, their hands stay right in front of them. They don't drag them off behind themselves. And you'll start to see once and for all, your hands will get to a better impact position which is really what gives us more power, okay? I know occasionally you'll get more power by really taking it back long, but it's, it's fleeting. You get it once, and then you hit it left, you hit it right, it tends to leave you. Think of a lot of tour players too, right? Number one in the world, John Rahm, Tony Finau, just to name a few of people, you know, these guys are fairly flexible, some of the best athlete, athletes in the world, they're taking the club back to about here, you know, with three wood sometimes. It's, it's downright amazing. Now my backswing's longer than that. You need to find kind of your authentic spot. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here. That all depends on your flexibility, um, both in your shoulders, your arms, and in your rotation. But like I said, for the most part, everybody is running on too far, okay? Take that out to the golf course, give it 10 or 15 minutes, just trust me, it's not instantaneous, but you'll start to see after a period of time, boy, I'm actually really starting to stay connected with my body and club. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna show you just some clips here from some of the best players in the world. These are my three favorite swings in golf, and they're basically explaining the same thing that I'm trying to tell you in a different way of how they manage and control their backswing. So take a look and tell me what you think. In order for me to, to swing the driver well, I've always played my best one. I feel like my hands are as far away from my head as possible, which creates a lot of room a lot of width on the way down. I start going bad when I get narrow with my hands next to my head, which means then I have to throw it out. I lose a lot of power, hit a lot of balls out to the right. When I get wide, I can stay behind it, hit the draw, ball goes a little further. And I see a lot of, amateur, a lot of amateurs get in here where 
they can kiss their hands. That's not the position you need to be in. If you can be out here a little bit further away from your head, uh, I guarantee you'll be hit the ball a little bit further. I like to think of uh, on the way back keeping it nice and wide, keeping it here, and, and you know really. Um, you know, extend, you know, I try. To, I keep my left arm very straight through the swing anyway, but really just try and take it away as like a one-piece takeaway and just take it wide into the top here. And then if I, you know, I know if I get it in a good position there, I can All right, turn show it through. Us, show us how that works. So your, your key is more feeling your left arm going back there? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. So obviously just try and pick a target out there. You know, get your setup nice and wide. Feel, feel stable. Beautiful there. And then just hit it as far as you possibly can. Well, that's the plan, yeah. That kind of works. <laughs> I can't even see that far. If you look here, if you address it here, um, you almost form a little little triangle here. I want to move the triangle back, and when you, when you start cocking your wrist, you start seeing a little box effect. You know, you get a little box there. I want to finish it to the top of the swing, keep the box. And then, when I make the, the transition, I want to keep that same angle. I don't want it to straighten or get too close to me. So I get to the, the box at the top and then keep that angle into the shot. And that keeps me connected with my upper half. And uh, just give it, a, give it a lash. So I get over the ball nice and comfortable. Neutral position, easy back, keep the box. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you really liked it, feel free to subscribe or give me a thumbs up. I love hearing from you guys too, so definitely drop a comment with any questions or concerns. But if you really want to get a lot of my content that's not on YouTube, I have an email list. All you need to do is click the link below, put your email in, and you'll be getting all this content for free that nobody else gets on YouTube. Lessons for me that come out almost every other day. I'll talk to you soon.